Now, are you like me and you're wondering why there's so much heat behind the recent marriage nuptials of Pastor Keon Henderson and Shaquille O'Neal's former wife, Shani? Well, you better stick around because I'm going to spill the tea on what I know. I mean, what I heard, allegedly. But anyway, hi there, I'm Professor Blackmore and welcome back to my channel. Now, before I get into this, I just want to say to all the church people, you know, the, the Christians, the Pharisees, the church people, be respectful in the comments. Whether you agree or disagree, it'll be accepted by me. I mean, all you have to do though is be respectful. But if it's disrespectful, then it's not going to be received. So be sure that if you disagree, which is fine, and you don't want to be respectful, just keep strolling. Keep, keep, just go past this video. This, this, this ain't for you. But if you want to disagree with respect, Go ahead and put your comments down there in the comment section of this video because I want to see all the comments, the ones I disagree with, the ones I don't agree or disagree with. I need to get all of the information on this. So if you got some information, you know, you just go ahead and put it in there. But we want to be respectful to everybody. And you want to also keep in mind that everything I'm saying is alleged. These are alleged facts. I'm just alleging. Okay. Now, with all that being said, <laughs> I want to say that many of you may know Shaquille O'Neal's former spouse and one of the stars and what I know to be one of the executive producers of Basketball Wives, Shawnee. So, I'm just minding my own business trying to get my praise on a few Sundays ago at the Potter's House, Dallas. Shout out to T.D. Jakes. Hey, Bishop. But anyway, and just let me let you know that when it comes to the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm serious. So I really, I, me personally, when I go to church, I'm really, that's a serious thing for me. I, I don't like Hollywood church. Church is, you know, it's serious. So, you know, when all the people, you know, everybody wants to be famous, you know. But for me, I would rather separate because, I, I, you know, I like all the reality shows, you know. But when I go to church, that's serious for me. So I personally don't want to turn on church and feel like, I'm at a reality show, but it is what it is. And so as many of you may know, if you follow the Potter's House Dallas and you follow TD Jakes, you know that it's his anniversary. And what I am figuring out here lately is that the thing to do is to celebrate a church anniversary for the whole entire year. Okay. So it just goes on for every, every week and every week they want you to so into something okay anyway so all of the who's who in ministry are making their appearances periodically throughout the year until we culminate in the anniversary sunday whenever that is okay and so i haven't been keeping up with all of the hot tea that's been going on so I didn't think anything when it was announced that Pastor Keon Henderson and his Lighthouse Church in Houston, his Lighthouse Church ministry, would be visiting the Potter's house. And so Bishop Jakes introduces him and brings him on the stage. And, you know, he's beginning his sermon because he's going to be the, the guest preacher for this for the day. And so he's beginning his sermon. And so he's going over all of his, you know, you know, they do the introductions of 
everybody that's with them and all of this. And so you could have knocked me over with a feather when he said this. To the angel of this house, to the man that I believe that God has given the keys to the kingdom, to a generational leader, 45 years of global ministry in this place. And those of you who are watching online, give God praise for our father in the ministry and the bishop of the world. Bishop T.D. Jakes. Come on and praise God for him. A lot of people say there'll never be another one. I say there has never been one. Uh, he is the greatest of all time at what he's done. As my mother would say, if life lasts me and death pass me, by the end of next month, um, I will have a wife who will be walking this journey with me. Would you praise God for my fiance, Miss Sonny O'Neill? We are we're getting married on the 28th of May. On the 28th of May. Um, and I know what it means now to have a good thing. I know what that means, and uh, there, there comes a place where everything you've learned in life is tested by the life you live. Never will forget, my mother said to me, she said, son, you, you are, you're born looking like me, but you'll die looking like what you chose. And I am grateful for that decision right there. Praise God for her. So now, if you can imagine, they had my attention, that's for sure. Because like I said, I, you know, I don't play when it comes to Jesus Christ. I mean, when I come into the church house, honey, I bring my big tambourine and my little tambourine. I mean, when I go to church, I go to praise and and I'm not shy about it at all. I mean, you don't, you just never know what you might find. I don't have no problem at all saying hallelujah. Okay. So I'm looking now, I'm looking at Shani because I'm trying to see, you know, okay. Now, how is Shani? How, how, how is Shani going to pull off being first lady of a Baptist style church in the South? OK, so, you know, you, if you go to church, you know, if you missionary Baptist, any kind of Baptist in the South, you know, you're going to be going there. You're trying to see what kind of Christian is she really? I'm looking. I am all keyed in on her at this point, because now I'm trying to see if I can find a hallelujah or praise the Lord anywhere in her. If she thinks that she's going to pass the smell test as being first lady over there at Lighthouse Church. So, and I'm just going to tell you what I, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still looking to see. I'm still looking. Okay. But anyway, and that, you, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say on that. I'm really just going to leave that particular issue to the saints over there at Lighthouse Church so that they can decide on whether or not she is first lady material or not. I'm just saying, I, I didn't see it. I, I, I didn't see it nowhere. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, and so I'm just going to talk about the things that I know. And what I know is family law in Texas, because I've practiced law in the state of Texas for over 20 years. And the one thing I can say about it is in Texas, we don't call it family law. We call it fan family law. And so over the years, I have developed the ability to be able to just sit and watch a situation. And I can tell you when my warning lights start blinking 
And that is because over the years I've seen and heard it all when it comes to the institution of holy matrimony in the state of Texas. And so right in this moment during the church service, this is when my warning lights start blinking off the charts when this happened. Father's house, my mama here today. Come here, mama, real quick. Many of you all have heard me talk about it, but you've never seen her. She is sitting right here. I want to, she'll be 69 this November. This is my mother. Y'all praise God for my mother. She was, she was the first lady until I got one. <laughs> and uh, this has been my prayer warrior for 40 years. And uh, she told me, tell you, Shawnee, she done passed you on. She done passed me on. I don't know if you're ready for that job, but go ahead and get ready, girl. And so now after this, I mean, my whole mouth was just left wide open. And I mean so much so that I couldn't really even focus on the sermon at all. And that is because, you know, when you see a man who, you know, for me, okay, I, for a man, we know that a man and his mother, okay, you, you know, there are some situations where, you know, it, it's, it's up there, you know, it's a nine or a 10. Okay. But this was like a 20. Okay. It, 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 when you look at how excited he was about his mama, and then you look back and you look at how excited he was about Shani. I mean, I just didn't see the level of deep love, the level of extreme excitement about his new or soon to be wife to the level that he had for his mama. And I just would expect him to have been as equally as excited about Shawnee. I mean, his mouth was saying some things that, you know, kind of passed the smell test, but the look on his face, go back and look at the look on his face. He looked like he was about to walk into death's door. Hell, he was more excited about his love for T.D. Jakes. But anyway, and all right, comment section. I mean, anyway, I just mean the whole thing seemed so fake to me. And it strikes me as an effort to exploit an opportunity to accumulate more influence and notoriety. But again, that's just my opinion, comment section, allegedly. But anyway. <laughs> And so now the wedding has taken place and it has social media on pure D fire. And so that makes my warning lights go off again because I'm thinking in the moment that this is all introduced during a church service. I'm thinking my lights is just like flash, flash, flash. But now social media is like telling the truth on this thing. I mean, it is on fire about it. And so I just want to address some of the things that I'm hearing in the blogs and on social media. Now, the word on the streets is that he and Shani were acquainted while he was married to his prior wife prior to his divorce. And so let me just back up just a little bit. Many of you may know that before this new marriage to Shani, Keon was married to another woman by the name of Felicia, or as First Lady of Lighthouse Church, Lady Felicia. And so he was married prior to this new marriage now to Shani. And the word on the streets is that he and Shani were acquainted while he was married now prior to the divorce. And so there's a little scuttlebutt out there about the fact that, uh, you know, that Shani and his former wife, Lady Felicia, were friends. I, I, you, I'm just telling you allegedly, okay, what, what I've seen in the social media. That is what they're saying, that they knew each other. And court records indicate that he filed for divorce on October the 16th, 2019, in which divorce petition because he filed for divorce and the petition states that he and Lady Felicia 
were married on August 7, 2010, and that they ceased to live together as husband and wife on October the 8th, 2019. And so if anybody, you know, you, whatever you want to say, if anybody has evidence about anything hooking up or linking up that matches this timeline, then I mean, but I'm just telling you what it says on the streets, in the streets, they are saying that he and Shani knew each other prior to the divorce being filed. So I'm just putting that out there because, you know, why would a man, a pastor of a church, file for divorce from his wife? All right, comments section. Okay. Now, one of the things that is being said is that Keon's former spouse, Felicia, is under some type of confidentiality agreement. And this could be the case, but I don't see it anywhere in the nearly 50 page divorce decree. And all I can say is at least I didn't see one during my casual reading very quickly through those 50 pages. I didn't see a, a confidentiality agreement of any sort there, but there could be a confidentiality side agreement. And I talk all about side chick agreements, but this wouldn't be a side chick, but main chick, this would be a main chick confidentiality agreement. But if you want to find all about side chick agreements, you can watch one of my prior videos and I'll place a link to those videos down in the description section below. But there is no confidentiality agreement within the divorce. It is very possible though, that during mediation or some other silent mediation between the parties of some sort that they may have some type of side confidentiality agreement under some type of separate consideration, i.e. money. But among the lucrative settlement, including cash, insurance policies, etc., Lady Felicia was also awarded spousal support pursuant to the party's agreement in the divorce decree, wherein Pastor Keon is ordered to pay, in addition to child support, spousal support in the amount of $5,000 per month beginning on April 1st, 2021 and ending on March 1st, 2023. So if Lady Felicia is under some type of gag order in a confidentiality agreement, it would have to have been supported by additional cash in order for it to be a valid agreement because for an agreement to be valid, it must be supported by its own separate, what we call consideration. So we'll have to wait and see. If there is another agreement, even though I don't see any such thing being expressed in the divorce decree, I wouldn't expect her to ruffle any feathers at this point by saying anything derogatory prior to the date set for the end of those spousal support payments. So what do you think? Do you think this marriage between Pastor Keon and Shani will last? I mean, do you think this is love ever after? Please let me know by leaving your comments in the comments section below. And please also give me a huge thumbs up. And I wanna ask that you please also subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos on this topic or whenever I go live. And please also follow me on TikTok and Instagram.